Roman town anymore. Its foreign council of watch the city of military center of the town was built by one of the Gorka and has resisted the onslaught of military attack and the aggressive action of Tom for nearly a thousand years. The story of Colchester and its castle is told in the many relics and exhibits in the museum housed within the castle walls. The museum is strictly local in its exhibits and vividly illustrates the life and work of the town throughout the ages with the emphasis on the Romano British people. The castle walls are built of reused Roman bricks and septaria in alternating courses. These are supplemented by barnet brick quarried near Peter, the home of the diesel engines on which Colchester Corporation has standardized its entire fleet. Colchester is among the first municipalities to introduce diesel engines into low mileage municipal vehicles, a field hitherto generally recognized to be exclusive to the tax maker. The result has been a remarkable saving in running and maintenance costs. The wide range of vehicles and plants operated by the corporation today includes refuse collectors, road sweepers, gully empties, road rollers, dumpers, compressors, and a learning shovel. The reduction of cost in public services is all important. But it is not only through dieselization that the ratepayer's money is being saved. For several years, the collection of refuse has been paying its own way due to its profitable disposal. Kitchen waste is compressed high quality in the collector, so reducing the number of trips per day to the dumping ground. Waste paper and cardboard is stored separately on the trailer. Paper is unloaded at the refuse depot. After preliminary sorting, it is compressed and banned. This is later sold to paper manufacturers, and a considerable profit is made every year on its sale. Other types of refuse, such as scrap metals, are also disposed of for an economic return. At the dumping ground, the unsaleable refuse is dumped systematically in layers with soil interspaced to aid decomposition. The ground becomes quite solid after about four years, and within ten years could be suitable as a building site. By this means, land which would normally be left waste can be reclaimed and once again put to some useful purpose. Apart from the use of diesel power units in the refuse collectors, amazing savings have been the reward of fleet standardization. The gunny and cesspool emptier, for example, a very low mileage vehicle, completes less than 8,000 miles per year and yet still justifies the additional cost of diesel installation. Statistics obtained from municipalities all over the country prove that the petrol to diesel cost ratio gives the diesel twice the number of miles per gallon of fuel. In addition, considerable savings on maintenance and improved performances are advantages worthy of consideration. The once high cost of road sweeping has been reduced considerably by the use of a mechanical formula, powered by a Perkins PGV diesel engine. This vehicle covers on an average 20 miles of road a day. More than 655 municipalities throughout the United Kingdom have followed Colchester's example, with the result that today over 3,000 Perkins diesel engines are being operated in municipal vehicles and plant. Thank <laughs> you.